What's up folks, how's it going this watch? Hope you guys are all doing well. And today we're gonna to be talking about personal tracking devices. Now, since the launch of the Apple AirTags several months ago, I wanted to test out some of the best personal tracking tech that's available right now from simple to more complicated and see how it compares against the AirTags from a usability standpoint, reliability, as well as safety and security, which is super important when you're trying to track down your lost items. Now, firstly, let's talk about one of the most basic tracking systems that you can find out there. Typically on places like Amazon, we have uh, these uh, generic key finders where they usually come with a number of different receivers. In this case, we have four color configured receivers and a remote control. Now with this unit, each receiver has a light as well as a uh, little speaker inside. So when you press the button associated with the receiver, it'll flash the light as well as play a relatively loud little tone and it works for about 30 meters distance. It can go through walls and couches and things like that since it uses an 80 dB radio frequency transmission. Now the receivers are powered by a standard CR2032 three volt battery and the battery life will depend upon usage. It could last several months, if not years. Just depends on how many times you initiate the receiver, but generally uh, they're super power efficient and uh, very easy to attach any of these receivers to a keychain. Uh, perhaps uh, to stick it to a remote control or any item with some double-sided tape. Super versatile, super simple to use, don't need a smartphone or anything, and it's plug and play. Plus, for under $15, it's probably one of the cheapest personal tracking devices that you can get. Now, being such a low-tech solution, there are certainly a lot of limitations to a product like this. Firstly, uh, there are no directional inputs on, in terms of which direction and what specific location uh, your uh, receiver is located. You pretty much have to use your ears or see where the light is uh, coming from, if that's even possible. And obviously, there's no a GPS uh, built in, no live tracking, uh, no assistance from a public network that would help you find any of these receivers, and uh, no parent to Bluetooth or any of your smartphone devices for any other additional assistance or support to find your lost item. Now next, let's look at something a little bit more advanced, specifically a device that can do independent real-time GPS tracking. And probably one of the best devices out there that's been around for quite a while is the Tracky. This little box that measures around 44 by 38 millimeters is a live GPS tracking device. It actually has a built-in LTE 4G networking inside. And typically with a service like this, you are gonna be paying a monthly fee uh, for the data transmission and for all that live tracking information and uh, with the tracky system you're paying around twenty dollars a month month to month or uh, ten dollars a month on a long-term contract now the benefits of live gps tracking are many as you can imagine this works independently of your smartphone since it has its own uh, gps and personal data connection you can easily install this on a car it has a magnetic mount built inside you can uh, put this on a person child dog, anything that you want live tracking anywhere in the world in real time. Furthermore, if you're indoors and a GPS signal lock cannot be acquired by the Tracky receiver, there is a database of Wi-Fi MAC addresses within the Tracky uh, service that will help you find your Tracky receiver in that rare circumstance uh, as long as it recognizes a MAC address that's in the Tracky database. Now, besides having to be dedicated to an independent service plan for this tracking devices, one of the other kind of downside is going to be power consumption and specifically battery life. In real-time tracking mode where it's pinning a GPS signal every one to five minutes, your battery life will last anywhere between two to three days. Now with more longer tracking intervals set to one to three days, you could potentially get battery life ranging from 30 to 75 days according to Tracky. Now that being said, if you're using Tracky specifically to track your car and you have access to USB power through your car's power source, you can easily wire in an a micro USB connection to power the device. And they also sell a 3,500 milliamp hour battery life extender that will extend your battery life to uh, two weeks with one minute tracking and up to 10 months with one day tracking. Moreover, if you're specifically looking to track a vehicle, I would definitely recommend checking out one of the ODB2 tracking devices that are out there on Amazon. They're uh, very affordable. Uh, this one over here, the Land and Sea GPS tracker is uh, 
around $25. It gets power through your vehicle's ODB2 connector, which is a universal connection. It does require a uh, subscription service like what we find on the uh, Tracky system because this is a live 4G LTE real-time GPS tracking device. So you get all the benefits of the real-time uh, subscription service such as text and email updates, uh, speed readings, as well as if you want to put it in stolen or lost mode, it's uh, definitely a handy thing to have. And it's super discreet since most of these connectors are out of sight and uh, most people wouldn't know if you had one of these tracking devices installed when you're just driving the car. Now next let's talk about one of the most popular personal tracking devices that you can get out there and that's the uh, Tile based system. Tile has been around for many years, super affordable, comes in a whole bunch of different form factors. You get the essential pack like we have over here, it comes with a, a little uh, mate, a sticker and a slim. Uh, the slim is basically something you can form fit into most people's wallets. The uh, sticker is something you can essentially stick onto anything as a double-sided adhesive backing. And the Mate and Mate Pro are basically universal keychain style tracking devices where you can essentially attach them to many different things, including your keys. Now all tile trackers utilize Bluetooth to connect to your iOS or Android device, and the range differs from each of them. For example, the Tile Pro has the greatest range of up to 400 feet Feet. The Tile Mate and Slim are both rated at 200 feet and the sticker is rated up to 150 feet. Now setting up your tile tracker is really simple and straightforward. You essentially assign it a identification or designation, keys, wallet, etc. When you want to find that specific item, you basically press on it and you'll hear a little custom ringtone that you've assigned specifically to that tile and you simply find where it's located based on that auditory cue. There are no spatial or directional cues uh, within the tile app itself like what we're going to see with the Apple AirTags. You simply find it using your ears and in this situation where you're out of bluetooth range it will just tell you the last gps coordinates of your associated pair device your smartphone you can go to that location and then connect via bluetooth to find your tracker you can also utilize the anonymous and secure tile network where the tile will try to connect to other tile users out there and give you a gps coordinates to aid your search now there's also a paid premium subscription service from Tile that will get you uh, battery life replacements as well as things like smart alerts that will notify you of when an important tracker is being left behind, backpack, keys, and things like that from your associated pair device. Now the battery life uh, is somewhat user replaceable depending on which tracker you choose from Tile. So for example, the Mate and Mate Pro utilize a replaceable battery that you can easily access and they both have basically a one year uh, life expectancy. Uh, the uh, Slim and the sticker actually have a built in uh, little battery. The Slim is rated up to three years battery life, two years for uh, the sticker. And all of the Tile trackers are fairly durable and somewhat water resistant. Now finally let's talk about the Apple AirTag. And in terms of the overall design and infrastructure, it's actually quite similar to the Tile system. Basically, you have a Bluetooth tracker that has a 100 meter communication range between the iOS device that it's paired to. It will also utilize the GPS coordinates of that iOS device if those two things become separated. And further than that, if you put it in a loss mode and it's separated from your iOS device from a long range communication distance, it will also utilize the potential millions of Apple iOS users that are nearby anonymously and securely to find your AirTag. Very cool. But the big thing about the AirTags is it utilizes the ultra wideband U1 chip that's found on the iPhone 12 and 11 to give you precise directional guidance to give you the exact location of your AirTag within the centimeter or inch, making it one of the most precise and easy to find trackers out there once you're in within that Bluetooth slash U1 chip range, which is kind of narrow in my experience anywhere between 25 to 50 feet and there's also a built-in little speaker so you can utilize a, a personal ringtone for your air tag if uh, you visually can't see it and it's hidden underneath somewhere beyond that the setup is probably one of the most simplest out of any tracker out there you just bring it close to a new iOS device that you want to pair it to and both devices will automatically connect encrypting your air tag uh, to your Apple ID and then you can name your air tag and tie it specifically to your keys wallet 
call it anything you want. All the communication is uh, fully encrypted with Apple's high standards. So if anyone else uh, finds your AirTag, it will automatically notify you when it is in lost mode. In terms of some of the other features, uh, the AirTags are IP67 dust and water resistant. You also have a user accessible battery. It uses a CR2032 coin cell, very easy to replace. There's lots of accessories out there. One of the kind of flaws of the design initially is that you don't have a built-in keychain, lock or lock or anything like that. You're kind of forced to use either some kind of double-sided tape or accessories, which can get quite expensive, but there's some cheaper alternative options out there, both from Apple and third-party manufacturers to get a keychain attachments and uh, things like that. In terms of price point, you're only looking at $30 for one tracker and about $100 for four air tags, which is uh, fairly reasonable. And due to the fact that it's probably one of the most secure, precise personal trackers out there, I would definitely say that it's pretty good value for the money. Furthermore, if you're an Android user like myself, primarily, unfortunately, the uh, air tags will only work on the iOS platform and Android users are kind of out of luck. If they want to use air tags, they're going to have to stick with Tile or some other tracker, which kind of sucks because it would be definitely nice to have this kind of technology on the Android platform. But really, other than that, guys, uh, that's really it. I definitely love to know what you guys think is the best personal tracking devices out there. Are you using a one right now? Do you think it's worth it or handy or useful? Definitely, I would love to know what you guys think. Check out the description down below for more details about everything we've talked about. Make sure you have post notifications turned on, liked our video, and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time and take care.